Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Okay, guys, I have officially arrived in Barcelona, and I am still in the airport. However, I'm getting my Uber right now, and I'm going to go straight to the hotel, drop my stuff off, and explore. Some dude tried to play me, right? So it was a, a dude from um, Africa. He walked up to me, and he was just like, he was like, where are you from? He was speaking French, I know for sure. Or maybe he was speaking the language that they speak here, Catalan. Because it sounded like French and it sounded like Spanish, so I don't know. He walks up and he's just like, where are you from? You speak English? I was like, yeah. So we are talking to him. So I'm stranded here and I'm really trying to get to Paris. Do you have any money for me? I'm just like, bruh. He was like, you're my sister, so I thought you could come help me out. I was like, true, but yet and still. I don't have it. I wasn't gonna tell him that I'm by myself and I only got myself to look after. Like, I need all my money. That was that. Mm -mm. He tried it. But anyways, let me order this Uber and I will see you guys in a little bit. So I went outside to try to get an Uber and one guy told me that the Ubers are backed up. He was trying to bike me all the way to my hotel. Yeah. And he was charging me 70 euros, which is $90. And I'm just like, no. And so I was trying to bargain with him and he was just like, okay, I'll go 65. You trying to play me. And then um, I talked to the security guard and I asked him if I can take the bus because the bus should be cheaper. And so the security guard was like, no, it's like really confusing to take the bus. Like you might as well take the metro. And so here I am at the metro. Anyways, that guy that I was telling y'all about earlier, he pops back up. And he's just like, where are you trying to go? So I was like, I'm, I need to take the metro to Sagrada Familia. It's really close to my hotel. And so um, I'm like, but I need to take the metro. So he's like, I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. He's like, we look after each other. I'm just like, okay, whatever. And so um, he helped me get a ticket. He helped me find which, um, which one I was supposed to go to. And um, so I was just like, how much do you need, bro? And he was just like 10 year old. So I gave him 10 year olds. And I, get, I went on about my way. He was just like, you help me, I help you. He was like, brother and sister. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Like, like really, I mean, I could have figured it out myself if I went to information desk. But still, like, he helped me out. And so he can get to Paris or whatever. But still, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, he really tried to play me anyway. Because if you can get to Paris, then how you got money to even do anything in Paris if you ain't got 10 euros to get to Paris? And so, but I was like, whatever. I'm not even gonna think about that. Do my good deed, he did his good deed. And that's the end of that. However, my train is coming up, I think. And it's time to get to the hotel. I am actually in my hotel now. Um, I've been here for a good two and a half hours talking to my family. Um, I'm trying to wait around so I can actually like find some place to eat. Oh my gosh, did I chip my camera? A little bit, okay, but I'm trying to find some places to eat. So I think I'm gonna go downtown, downtown, go downstairs to um, the front desk to see if they can help me out with some places to eat right now. I honestly just want some like choc chocolate and um, churros right now i just don't want to go to another place where i have to eat american food like so i'm gonna go downstairs oh i'll give you guys a room tour really quick you hear that sound yeah that's the sound of the heater in here which is annoying <laughs> okay so you walk in there's a mirror here the bed um tv it's literally just for me this is the uh, bathroom, another bidet, the shower, and then my view is actually really pretty. Um, I haven't figured out what is across the street, and then there's some stores down there. So some closet space, a key, more pillows, hangers. Um, I think I'm gonna go downstairs, talk to him, see where I can eat, and then I'm gonna come back in the room for the rest of the night. And I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna uh, watch the Cheetah Girls because I'm in Barcelona and I wanna go to every place that they've gone to. And so I'm gonna do that. Um, 
I'm gonna plan out my day for tomorrow. I've already bought tickets to La Sagrada Familia y otros lugares, other places. Um, and so I just have to like plan out my day, like what I'm gonna do when, stuff like that, what, what time. So. Okay, let me get out of here. You know one thing I do not like about Spain, the hotels that I've been in? Tell me what's wrong with this. There is no people, so if somebody knock, I just have to talk through the door or open the door. Boom. That's it. Uh, I don't remember if I was on the first of the... I don't remember, we're gonna go to both. Ooh, my stomach. Guys, I'm so excited to be in Barcelona. Like, Oh no. I don't think I'll be taking the elevator anymore, y'all, because this elevator, oh Jesus. It's, oh, okay. Hola. Hola. Hay restaurantes uh, más cerca del de hotel? Eh, buenos restaurantes, sí. Okay. ¿Y esta bendita? Todos restaurantes. Sí. Sí. Nos queda hasta aquí y luego bajar. Vale. Es, esa dirección. Allí. Allí. Exacto. Cuando llega, esto es un hospital. Uh -huh. Cuando usted va caminando en la otra esquina, aquí, enfrente, hay una avenida, Avenida Gaudí. Vale. Puedes bajar a pie caminando, que es de restaurantes. Vale. Gracias. De verdad. Oh, you thought I'm not going up there. Mm -mm. I don't even see no light switch. <laughs> they really think I'm gonna go up that dark staircase? You say a prayer before I leave the room. Dear Father, be with me on this journey to Barcelona. Dear Father, be with me on the journey to Barcelona. I pray that you keep me safe and that you um, give me some sense of direction I want to go. On top of that, I pray that you make sure that I use my head and I trust my gut in the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, let's go. I already looked at the fire escape route, so I know where to go. Y'all think I'm playing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna eat at this place. It's like a bar and restaurant, and like, here's some of the things. I've always wanted to try some of this, some of this. Oh, this, 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 a whole bunch of things. Anyways, I'm gonna go in and order now. This is what I want so far. This is just fried octopus and this is just like potatoes with some sauce and so I'm gonna just go. So I just had me some tapas and they were cool. I'm full. I'm about to go back to the hotel. I'm about to watch a movie. Figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I think I'm gonna actually get a donut before I go to the hotel. That's the plan. So I'm at the donut place, the sweets place, and there's a lot of possibilities. And I'm not really sure what I want. So I got my whatever pastry this is. I don't know. I just seen powdered sugar. It went for it. And the girl said she liked my hair. She said my hair is beautiful. I'm gonna head to the hotel now and hang out. Okay guys, it is the next day. I'm literally just waking up. Can you hear the stank breath in my, in my voice? <laughs> but this is another look at like the outside of where I'm staying. Actually, I'm about to take a shower right now. Okay, guys, I'm running a little late behind schedule. Um, La Sagrada Familia está 20 minutos. It's 20 minutes away. And so, this is like my outfit of the day. Something super quick. Um, I'm so ready to go. He llegado a Sagrada Familia. I've arrived to Sagrada Familia. Okay, so basically they gave me this phone to listen to like the history and stuff like that. Um, and so I'll be telling you guys some history as I walk through.
on what my little telephone is telling me. So basically, um, there's so much history inside and outside. With this church, they have different sides to uh, different facades, is what they call them, to show the story of Jesus, his birth, his death, and something else. I don't know. And so this facade shows birth. And so, this is what. Okay guys, so I have officially left La Sagrada Familia. It's a very beautiful place. Now I'm starving. It is 2.10. And there are like some stores around La Sagrada Familia. They're, more, they're really expensive, I know for sure. Just because they love the tourists in the area. And when they go to Sagrada Familia, they come somewhere over here to eat. And so they kind of like hike up the prices and I can tell you. I'm back in the hotel after I didn't dance my way through the Barcelona streets. I was literally walking down the street, saw sun. I was hitting the Dougie, you know what I'm saying? And even this dance, I don't even know what it's called, but I was really hitting that all the way down the street and people were looking at me and smiling and laughing. And you know what? I don't even care because I'm happy. I'm feeling good. My spirits are good. Like. Everything's great right now. And so, you know what? Maybe I should have a dance party right now. Since I've wanted to dance my way like a whole 20 minutes to my hotel, might as well. Um, <laughs> are you testing me? Did you just say I won't? Did you just say I won't dance right now? The new school. You like that dancing? Oh, I'm tired. Hey, Barcelona. I got a question. Why is it that y'all don't care about y'all people's safety? Like, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Nan screen right there. Nah, it's really unsafe. I was supposed to be taking a nap and resting my feet because, uh, my shins and my calves hurt, but I didn't do that. I'm over here dancing and I know the people under me can hear me because the walls in this hotel is so thin. You've got mail. So while I was outside Sagrada Familia, ooh, that was too much. You bring it back a little bit more. When I was outside Sagrada Familia, that's better, that's, that's way better. I should actually try to find a flamenco place somewhere around here. We so I really want to go dancing, or I really want to see dancing. Okay, y'all, so I'm actually running a little behind schedule. Um, this honestly isn't working out. I might end up pulling it down. I woke up late. I think it's like 7.15 already, so I have to hurry up and get there. It's a 35 minute walk. So, y'all, bye, guys. All right, guys, here's the deal. Good morning. One of these. He llegado más tarde, pero está bien por I'm gonna watch the sunrise.
So here's the thing. So it is raining right now and it's freezing cold. And I'm thinking about just walking back to the hotel to another 35 minutes, but I, it's supposed to be raining until like 12 p.m. and it's nine o'clock. Ridiculous. So I'll see you guys when I get back to the hotel. I actually just woke up from a nap. Can you tell I'm like all oh, sweaty and greasy and mm. Let me, does that happen to y'all when y'all like wake up from a nap? Yeah, or y'all wake up after y'all go to sleep and your lips are just. Let me know. My ankles are so swollen from walking today. I had to walk 35 minutes, walk to park well, and then it started raining. I couldn't tell you, <clears throat> I don't know if I told y'all that earlier, but it started raining. And so I was just like, ew, it's raining. It's raining, it's cold, it's wet, like, get me to the hotel ASAP. Yeah, that walk back, ooh, shorty, it was a mental thing. But we made it through. So right now I'm just charging my phone and I might just wear my hair down just to um, combat the cold of 50 degrees right now. Yeah, 51 and it's gonna be a high of 53, so. So yeah, um, I'm gonna actually make sure that I wear multiple layers this time just because Yo, your girl was cold on the walk back. I was sweating and I was cold. That's not a good mix. Stop at the cafe. And can you guess what I'm getting? Turtles going chocolate. And the metro is actually right there. I have to walk down there and get to get on the metro and get to Las Ramblas. That's the next place that we're going to. So I took the metro to Las Gracias and I'm going directly to La Boca de Miragua because I'm ready to like try some different foods. So I'm gonna head straight there and then I'll probably walk around Las Ramblas after. like a big fruit haul for you guys or something for a video. Gracias. So I think I got everything that I wanted. I didn't really want any meat because I'm not really a big meat fan. Any ham or anything like that that doesn't like excite me but fruit does and so I got a whole bunch of fruit that I've never tried before and I'll probably do, be doing a video um, tonight I record one and try all of this fruit I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring just to see what's around the area all right guys so I have actually officially arrived to the hotel I had to come back to the hotel um, I really wanted to walk around Las Ramblas, but like, mm, I didn't want to buy anything. It's nice seeing stuff like that, but like, ultimately someone's gonna end up buying something. So I didn't want to continue walking. Um, and when I was going back to, back and forth, if I wanted to come back to the hotel or not, I sat down and I ripped my pants. This happened. And so, um, you know, thick thighs. <laughs> Story of my life, but I didn't expect it to happen out here. Um, I'm really honestly not surprised because I've been walking everywhere. On top of that, the pants that I brought, I went to Old Navy and I bought a whole bunch of pair of jeans and I was like, okay, I can take this in, I can take this in. But I didn't remember which jeans I could take in and which jeans that fit fine. And so I brought the jeans that I had to take in and so I didn't want to wear them because they were just too big in the waist. And so I've been wearing these pants 
and they've been working fine and y'all don't come at me because I know y'all y'all know y'all can wear pants multiple times. I wear these pants and now they're ripped and so now I have to wear another pair of pants <laughs> that are too big in the waist. Um, but I think I'm just gonna make this video and chill until like dinner time and then go out and get some dinner. Just got done filming my fruit video like trying different fruits in Spain. A lot of these fruits are actually from different islands and they've been imported here. Um, so yeah i already made the video make sure you go check it out like like i said if this video is out first then it'll shoot out on the screen in one of these spots it'll shoot out and you guys can actually click on the video i'm gonna chill for a little bit and then i'll probably go back outside a little bit later for dinner and find some place to eat because i know i'm gonna be hungry later this is like my last full day in barcelona actually um tomorrow i head back to madrid and i'm gonna stay a night in madrid and then I'm gonna go back home on Friday. So this trip is coming to an end. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't wanna think about it. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm not gonna think about it. It's gone from my head, it's gone. What was I talking about? I don't even know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna clean this mess up and I'll see you guys later. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Who's on top of the world? I'm on top of the world.